Five today again if you missed it a record for the date hottest ever in june uh, 103 now and that humidity looks low but remember the hotter the air is the more moisture it can hold so 103 with 31 percent humidity is a lot more humid than say 73 with 31 percent humidity and it is muggy out there <laughs> Mr. Toad? Oh, shit. Big B! Listen, mate, I, I know I don't look human. It's a problem, I'll get it. I just stepped out the apartment for just a second to see what kind of damage this drunk shit is doing. Just cut me a break, yeah? I'll get me glamour first thing in the morning. Cross my arm. No need to kick up a fuss. Come on, Bigby. Say something. Are oh, you starting to scare me? If you can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. You can't send me up to live with those animals. You know what I mean. Go see a witch. Get a glamour. Bigby, they're bleeding me dry, mate. The quality of the spell goes down, but the rates keep climbing up. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? It's not my problem. You're the one risking your entire family getting shipped off. It's completely irresponsible, Toad. Baby, please. That's a blow, mate. 
All this will be taken care of as soon as the witches are available to cast the spell. Whatever it costs, it's worth it. You don't want me catching you out of glamour again. Fuck you now! See? This is what I told you about, Sheriff. You're just gonna stand there, do something, Big B, before he completely tears up the place! And what exactly do you want me to do? I want you to throw the fucking woodsman out of here, drunk shit. He's been going on like that for hours. Turn this place to dust if you let him. He's in a fucking rage. Oh! This is the last straw, Big B. He has to go. Fine. I'm heading up. Get your glamour. Furry pricked up shite. Tell me how to spend my money. Dad, the lights are shaking again. What did I say? You want a big bad wolf to take you away? No. Then get that fuck back inside! You're gonna know who I fucking am, you hear me? Hey, look at me! Just stop, okay? You're drunk! Let go! God damn you! No way! Whoa, 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 hey, hey, hey! You've got something on your face. Fuck are you talking about, you stupid <laughs> I'll fucking kill you! <laughs> Alright, everyone. <laughs> what are you gonna fucking do, huh? Get the fuck out of the way before you get the axe again. You're drunk, all right? Think this through. If you keep on like this, I won't have any choice but to put you down. Put me down? You got a shit fucking memory, Wolf. That's not how it went last time. This isn't last time. Back off, asshole. <laughs> 
You should probably get out of here. Look, I'm not leaving until I get what's mine. You're not getting sick, bitch. I'll fucking put you on the ground. Shut up. Oh, fucking shit. You bugged my jaw, you bastard. And still you talk. Fuck you. Shit. All right. You need to go. I can't go until this deadbeat pays me. For what? I let you slap me around for a while. You're lucky I'm not charging extra. Look, this is just the start of a shitty night for me. I just need the money he owes me, then I can go. What the hell is going on? What happened? A little misunderstanding that turned into a real shit show. Don't worry, you saw the best bits. There's more where that came from, girly. Knock it off! Are you alright? I'm hunky-dory. Thanks for asking. Why was he hitting you? He asked me if I recognized him, knew who he was. I said I didn't. He started beating on me. Then you showed up, started beating on him. Thought about cover it, hun? I'm the woodsman, you whore. I saved Little Red Riding Hood from this monster. I cut this fucker open and filled his belly full of stones and threw him in the fucking river. That's who the fuck I am, you stupid bitch! Hey, what did I say? I said be nice, or you wait out. Take your time. Make yourself comfortable. Toad, you need to get off the street. You don't have your glamour. Apologies for smashing your car, Toad. I'm gutted for you, mate. It's a real shame. But that's not you, is it? Gotta play the old man role. <sighs> Some things are more important than your car. Well, at least you're not fucking dead. I'm just getting what he owes me. You all right back there? I mean, your eyes and the teeth? You're not really supposed to do that, are you? Not if I can avoid it. Great. The guy's got an axe in his brain. 
He's not feeling that. It's more for me. He'll be fine. I'll kill you, you fucking bitch. Let me help you. <laughs> He's had enough. He's a fable. Son of a bitch can take plenty. These lips are sealed. Sorry. Hey, you like my ribbon? If you don't answer my questions, I can't help you. I'm answering them the best that I can. I feel like we've met before. We probably have. We all sort of knew each other at one point or another. But things change, I guess. I guess. Shit. Stop. We don't have to make any more of a thing out of it than it already is. It's not just about you. I can't have him running around the city in the state he's in. Good, because I was just starting to worry it was all about me. That's not what I mean. How much was it he owed you? A hundred. I'm guessing it'd be bad for you to show up empty-handed. I'll be fine. Let's see, I've got, uh... It's 20, 40, 7, 8, 58. It's all I got. Uh, it'll help, right? Take it. It's okay. I'll be fine. You've done enough, really. Just take the money, okay? You got me out of a bad situation back there. Thanks. I'm still gonna need a statement. I have to go drop off what I have. Meet me back at my office then. It's a little late for an office visit, Sheriff. I'll swing by your apartment. How do you know where I You live in the smallest apartment in the woodlands. Everyone knows that. Good to know. You should get cleaned up. You look like shit. And I don't use that term lightly. Some of these look pretty bad. Wow. Tell me what, what you, you really, really think. think. Hey. I need to tell you something. What is it? You're not as bad as everyone says you are. I'll see you around, Wolf.
There's no walking on the grass, no white's orders. I'll be sure to send her an apology. Beauty. Hello, Big B. I wasn't expecting anyone. So, where are you off to? Well, I went for a walk. I don't see what's wrong with that. Didn't say there was. It's not a big deal. Just, you know, out. For a walk. That's all. Damn it, I'm late. Please, Big B. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. He worries too much as it is, and it would just make my life a lot easier. Just please. Sure. You promise? I promise. Thank you, Big B. I'll explain it all to you later. I will, but I have to go. Thank you for trusting me. Really, I I appreciate it, Big B. this going to go on? Hey, wait up. Have you seen my wife? 
Have you seen Beauty? I'm staying out of it. Out of what? Whatever it is, Beast. I'm not a marriage counselor. Damn it. Something's going on. Big B. I'm in your chair, huh? I'm tired, Colin. It's been a long day. Got a smoke? Thanks. A couple thousand more of these, we'll be even on that house you owe me. This has got to stop. You can't keep sneaking off the farm like this. The fresh air and sunshine pitch they sell you on is bullshit. I didn't escape out of the homelands to end up in some prison, okay? Don't send me back there, Big B. You don't know what it's like, okay? You haven't been there. Come on. That's a little dramatic. That for me? Nope. The house didn't blow itself down, Big B. That's all I'm saying. Do with that what you will. Now, I'm not saying it's reason enough for me to have definitely been offered a drink, but, uh... It would have helped ease some of the pain you once caused me, yes. It also would have shown everyone how different you are now. 
that was all you were saying, I'd be able to get some rest. I take it all back. This is why everyone hates you. It is better to be feared than loved. You know who said that? Yeah, some sad asshole. Eating alone. But, uh, no. Um, hate's the wrong word. They fear you more than anything. You ate a lot of people back in your day. I thought we were all supposed to have a fresh start here. I can't change the past. Well, you can't change people's memories either. Look, I'm not saying it's fair, but it's real. People are scared of you. I mean, look at your hands. Who'd you get in a fight with? A fable, right? I'm sure you're not going around punching Mondays. I don't need advice from a pig right now. Don't shoot the messenger. Or eat the messenger. Whatever it is you do. You think my job is easy? You try keeping a bunch of fables from killing each other. How do you think this all works? I don't know. How? By being big and being bad. By being big and being bad. Don't say that shit in front of people. It's embarrassing. That's the attitude that gets you in trouble. I'm sure you were shitty to everyone you came across tonight. Not everyone. Name one. Uh, I don't actually know her name. Awesome. Great example. Life is easier with friends, Bigby. And we live a long fucking time. I know you like this whole lone wolf thing you got going for yourself. But I've seen the way you look at Snow, okay? You're not fooling me. Will you shut up? Well, maybe if my throat wasn't so parched, I wouldn't have to keep talking. Wait, that doesn't make Just sense. Just give me a drink, please. Colin, enough already. I haven't slept in two days. I went out a second story window and... I want to get in two seconds of shut-eye before I... Look, if I give you this, will you let me sleep? Yeah, yeah, all right. Probably. Nice. You're fucking with me. Hilarious. I hate you. are paper thin. We need to be careful. We'll talk outside.
this girl? Is... She's not a Mundy, right? Who was she? I thought I knew everyone in Fable Town. She looks familiar. Just a girl. We didn't have a whole lot of time to chat. The woodsman. He attacked her and I stepped in. And he threatened to kill us both. No. You don't think he... I don't think anything yet. Just give me a second. It's just... terrible. So, did you see anyone else? No. No one. No cabs, no voices, Mondays? Maybe, but... No. I don't think so. I would remember. Okay. Big P, did one of... us... Do this? There hasn't been a murder in Fable Town in a long time. All the more reason we shouldn't start a panic before we know what's going on. Have a look around. We don't have much time before people will be coming through here. She was placed here with some care. What do you mean? You can see that someone didn't just toss her here. She was deliberately placed for us to find. What kind of monster would do this? Strange cut. What did this to her? What could do something like that? Either something very sharp or something with magic attached to it. I'm sorry. This is just so surreal. Um, what... what do you want to do next? We still have some time. I should keep investigating the area. Okay, good idea. Hey, Snow. You alright? Yes. Thanks. But you should hurry. We don't have much time left. We should head back inside soon. been here an hour maybe
What are you doing? Better to be thorough. Sure, just hurry up. We don't have much time. We should move her before anyone shows up. We'll find out more at the business office. She'll be in the books. I'm sure of it. Big P, do you have any idea what's going on? How did this happen? Why her? Sorry, Snow. Just not ready to say yet. Fine. Let's just get upstairs. I'm gonna have to tell Crane about this. As long as King Cole is gone, he's acting mayor. He needs to know. And he's going to find out anyway, so we may as well get out in front of it. I guess it's useless to drag it out. That's how I feel too. I'm sure he won't be happy, but it's just part of the process. Hopefully he can be rational about it. I wouldn't hold my breath. <sighs> I'm not. I just don't want him interfering. Crane's not what's important right now. We need to figure out who this girl was so we can find whoever did this. Take this back to Dr. Swinehart. He can take a look at it. I'll meet you at the business office. What, are you blind? What, you don't see there's a line? I've been standing here a half hour already. You get to just walk in? Must be nice being the sheriff. Do whatever the fuck you like. I know. I'm taking cuts. Is that supposed to be funny? You see anyone here laughing, sheriff? Fucker. Because you are the one bringing this to me, Miss Snow. The one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep. The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria. Do you understand me? Yes, of course I Don't do. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. I brought you this news as soon as I could. You are trusted to keep things running smoothly around here. This is a disaster. It isn't anyone's fault. Instead of trying to assign blame, maybe we should figure out how to catch the fucker who did this. Oh, is that how you see things? Sheriff, you are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Fable Town. Your failure to do so cost someone their life and the safety of the entire community. Tell me you've been doing something. Are there any leads? Suspects? Anything. Anything at all. Any shred of evidence you two know what the hell you're doing. The woodsman is a person of interest. From what we've been able to gather, he was last seen with the victim. The woodsman? That drunk wretch was the cause of this? It's a lead. Nothing's certain yet. Well, find him. Get him in here if that's all you have to go on. You two need to get a handle on this situation quickly and quietly. The last thing we need is all of Fable Town knowing there's a killer amongst us. Snow. Yes? Sir? Call Vivian right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. I will. Where is the bottle of wine you were to purchase? Don't bother. Forget it. Can't do anything right. Do your job, Sheriff. Or we'll find someone who can. You know what? Stop. We'll get on it right away, sir. You would have just pissed him off more. All right. Well, that could have gone better. Well, 
Maybe we should have dragged it out. For what it's worth, I still think it was better to tell him. Yeah, maybe. Oh, Crane doesn't like people smoking and... Never mind. Smoke away. Who gets a massage this early? Crane. It doesn't really matter the time of day. A mere scent of stress and he's out the door. Is... is he gone? Yes, thankfully. Buffkin! Hello, Miss Snow. Drinking? This early? Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. Then don't you think it probably belongs to him? Maybe. How are you today, Mr. Bigby? Fine, Buffkin. Thanks for asking. Buffkin, get the books. Which books? The ones with all the fables in it. Not sure that was any more specific. Bring the first three. Be back in a few minutes. He knows the ones I'm talking about. There's bound to be information on her here. Somewhere. We'll at least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buff can find them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. I really have to get this appointment squared away, but let me know if you need anything. Hello, Vivian? Hi, this is Snow White, Mr. Crane's assistant. Hi. Worth a try. Magic mirror. I got a question. You know the rule. I don't have time for this shit. Your impatience is callow. You're needlessly cruel, but have some respect for our history rules. <sighs> mirror, mirror. Uh, if you're able, tell me all about this fable. See? Was that so hard? Yeah, I'm about two seconds away from kicking a hole in you. There's no need for that. Fine. Of which fable do you wish to know? Show me the woodsman. Where is he? What you see is complete. The woodsman stumbles down a street. No shit. Which street? I'm sorry, Bigby. I can only show you what can be seen. Show me Buffkin. Hey! Put down the bottle and get to work! Still looking! I don't know her name. Not yet, anyway. Well, until you do, I can't help you. Show me Snow White. Not much of a request. She's in this very room. Nobody right now. Very well. Please return should you wish to ask about someone else. Or someone new. I'm sure we'll get it all cleared up. Okay. Thank you.
strength. I guess it comes in all forms. What? I can't read any of this shit. I can help. Yeah, thanks. We look out for each other. Don't overdo it. Bufkin, translate. Hmm, an exquisite design from the good china of Toad Hall. Mr. Toad? He probably wrote this in himself. This is the one. Where is this symbol from? Which family or story? That's an odd one. Family name? Alerlairo? I'll go look it up. Alerlairo. That means every kind of fur in German. Donkey skin. Yes. What does it say? <sighs> donkey skin girl, also known as donkey skin. <laughs> also known as <laughs> ass skin. <laughs> Ah, uh, prefers to go by the name Faith. Poetic? Buffkin, we don't need the commentary. The story of Donkey Skin. There was once a great king with a beautiful queen. The queen grew ill and had her husband promise to only marry the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. After a long search, it became clear that the only woman in the land that could match her beauty was... Oh, his daughter, Faith. She had a magic cloak made from the skin of her father's prized donkey that would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. Eventually, she married a prince who could see past the magic cloak and knew her true beauty. And they lived happily ever after. Should I mark it, Miss Snow? Yes. Please. And what's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. We got what we came for. Yeah. Her name's Faith. She was married to Prince Lawrence. I mean, that's more than we... name was Faith. Yeah. We should talk to the husband. You think he did it? This sort of thing, it's usually the person who knew them best. Or it's someone completely random. Any information on fables in our community will be somewhere in these books. We already know her name, but feel free to have a look if you like. Ichabod Crane. Scared shitless. What's that? Your boss. His finest moment. Hard to understand how he ended up running this place. Well, maybe it's time that changed. Yeah, dwarves. Less 
said about that, the better. Yeah, that's me. Back when... Ugh. Long time ago. He likes his privacy, I think. I wish Toad would like his a bit more. This means tarot is a backwards art. I wouldn't put too much stock in its wisdom, Bigby. Not when you've been so helpful. Previsions muddy. I'm as clear as a window. Mirror, mirror, blah blah, able, blah 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 about this fable. Of which fable do you wish to know? Prince, I think. Show me Prince Lawrence. What's he been doing? Where is this? Where's what? Do you know where Prince Lawrence lives? If he's a prince, probably relocated in the South Bronx. Yellow building, red window shutters. Red frames. Yep, that's the one. I can take us there. Show me Faith's father, the old king. Guess that crosses him off the suspect list. Show me... Show me Faith. Through powerful magic, her whereabouts concealed. Unfortunately for you, these lips are sealed. What? These lips are sealed. It's not my choice in phrasing, Bigby. It's simply the way this has to be. Nobody right now. Anything we can use? Yeah, that'll have to do for now. Come on, we're going over there. Sorry, I have to get that. Hello, Woodland's business office. Yes? I... He is. Hold on. Bigby. It's for you. Bigby! It's me, Toad. You there? What do you want? Bigby! Shit! Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. Get over here, Big Big, before he... Oh, wait, hang on. Boy! Shit! Hey! What was that about? Hard to say. Something going on over at Toe's place. What about Faith's husband? I don't know. I couldn't really tell. But he could be in trouble. And 
we should go there anyway to search her apartment. Toad might have to wait. Whenever you're ready. Did Toad, Toad say who was there? there? Was it the woodsman? I don't know. It's possible. Whoever it was, it didn't seem like Toad was happy to see him. Well, maybe Prince Lawrence can wait. Yeah, he didn't see him. He could use some help, too. Well, where to first? Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. You think he did it? What's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. Toad sounds like he needs help right now. We can check in on Prince Lawrence. After. Okay. I'm not looking forward to breaking the news to him anyway. Going out the window, and I landed on Toad's car. You guys made a real mess. Yeah. Looks worse than a day. Is somebody up there? Hey! Wait here. Enough, all right? Just shut it! Son? Toads? I think. Be nice in there, okay? <laughs> Big B! And Miss White! Surely you didn't come all this way just for my bother. A 
sorry, Big V. It's embarrassing to have to admit, but uh, I thought there was someone else in Woody's place. There wasn't, though. Uh, not when I checked. Nothing but a leaky drain pipe. Imagination must have got the best of me. So, you know, false alarm. Sorry for dragging Miss White into this. What's going on? What do you mean? Nothing's going on, Bigby. I don't know what you mean, truly. False alarm is all. Sorry. Are you all right? Oh, he's fine, Miss White. Just stung his little toe. Better swimmer than Walker, just like his dad. Wanna? So, I guess you'll be taking off now. No need to hang around here anymore. I mean, I'm sorry you came all the way here for nothing. I'll leave when I'm ready, Toad. I just want to check things out first. The longer you talk, the longer this takes. So just stand over there and shut up. All right, all right. I just don't want to waste your time, is all. Now, have a seat. Have a cup of tea. Whatever you like. Whew. Grown-ups. Am I right? Uh... Hey, you know what? Flycatcher said you had a pretty awesome insect collection. I'd really love to see it. Is it in your room? It has a weevil. Cool. Just mind the upholstery while you're looking for nothing. Yeah, sure thing. How'd this happen? Fucking hell. Damn thing must have fell off the table. Uh-huh. The lamp just fell off the table. All the boy was faffing about, playing salts and saltfish. Nose with the lad. Though most people think they are. Uh huh. How's it going? Toad's hiding something, but I don't know what yet. Did the kid say anything? No, nothing really. He was really upset, though, earlier. He won't say why. Hmm. Something's going on. Stay with the kid until I figure out why. And ran around like a tit trying to pick out a wrap. Must have got some on the furnishments. Lamp in pieces, blood on the wall. It's awful, I know. Sounds painful. Oi, don't you go mother ending now. The wound didn't sit very long, you know. Perks have been a fable, I suppose. <laughs> and a frog. No, just a clean space in the dust. Did you move something? Ah, uh, maybe one of Junior's toys or something. I mean, who knows? If you're gonna say something, out with it. That broken lamp used to be here, right? Just tell me what happened. Nothing happened, mate. Nothing! And why did the lamp have to be there, of all the blooming pointless inquiries? It's my own place. Don't you think I'll know what happens in it? Because the lamp was always over here, Toad. It was over here, and now it's there. The space in the dust is from where you well, moved I it. did some refiguring. Who fucking cares? Bloody hell, mate. Come on, get off with this.
do a better job dusting, or no? So what happened? What happened? There's fresh blood on the tip. I could smell it from the door. I was, I was poking the coals and it slipped a bit. Sliced up in my foot like a seashell. Looked like a shit ugly thing. Okay, Sheriff, now what? It's been the hottest summer in years, Toad, so why would you be making a fire? Stay in this place for more than a spell and a drought will make you think you're in a sodding tantra. Oh, look at all, so what's the fuss? I thought toads can dry out. No, mate, you're thinking of lizards. Oh my god, will you not make a big faff out of this? There's nothing to solve here, Sheriff. I'm telling you everything that happened. Why don't you believe me? I mean, things happen, you know. This apartment's a goddamn mess, Toad. Looks like after a struggle or a fight, and I don't know why you cover for it. But I know you're lying about something. But I'm not! And you're just gonna make it worse for yourself the longer you keep up the act. I'm not bullshitting you. Honest. We'll see. What is it now? If it's blood, you know what happened, I... No, there's marks here on the window, so... And what's that about? No real reason. Just last night, when I'd come out, I was in a, a downright dizzy, mate, as you would be. <laughs> and I plum forgot the keys to this place. And I had to climb in through the bloody window. Really? Scared Junior off to death. Place needs a bit of dusting, I suppose. I know something's off here, Toad. And I know you know I can't leave until I find out why. So can we please just skip to the end of the page before I have to get mean? I don't know what you want, Big B. There's nothing going on. There's just... There's just nothing to tell. Look around the room and see for yourself. Everything has its explanation, you'll see. Honestly, Toad, I don't know if I will. And I don't know if I've got the patience to reverse engineer whatever scheme this is. Big boy's in the other room, Big B. Come on now. We're friends, right? I mean, I called you here.
you're lying about the lamp. The lamp fell is all. I bumped it. Coming, coming in from the, the, the thing. The lamp could not possibly have fallen, Toad. You had it plugged in over here the whole time. Someone ripped the lamp out of the wall and threw the thing. That's what happened, isn't it? What is it? Tell me what's up, right now. You know what happens if you don't. We've already been through this, mate. What is it, mate? Tell me what's up, right now. You know what happens if you don't. We've already been through this, mate. Bigby, look, I'm sorry, but there's just nothing to say. Now please, think of my boy before you do something rash. Come on now, we're friends, right? Oh, Jesus! You're gonna tell me, right now. What the fuck happened before we showed up? Maybe. I... It even has the faintest whiff of bullshit. I'm gonna... Hey! Bigby, is this really necessary? Oh. What is it? Is it hurt? He's hiding something. Either something he knows or something he's kept, but I won't play any more games with him. Dad! Oh my god. Take off your hat. Bigby, you didn't... He didn't. <sighs> it was that butcher, a, a tweedle, dumb or dee. You gotta strip them down to their johnnies before you can tell which is which. Who come bulging in, screaming about something the woodsman had? Or thought he had, I don't know. He tore up the place, beat me up when I said I didn't have it. I tried to go out the window, but he pulled me back in. What did you tell him? If you're worried about your own skin, forget it. I didn't tell him nothing about you or your shit. I would have told you. I wanted to, really, I did. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. I even tried to give the bastard a coat. He wouldn't take it. Whose coat? The girl. Dad borrows things from people who live here. Uh, sometimes? Borrows? I don't steal nothing. Turn around here would astonish you, mate. We'll merely repossess what's been left behind. Well, we'll be taking the coat now. If she has next of kin, family, anyone. All right. Fetch him the fur. Fine bit of dress it is. No, I wouldn't wear it outside. Wait. It's an envelope. Fucking hell, of course there is. For my luck, it's a map to some bloody doubloons. It's addressed to Prince Lawrence. Do you want to try and give it to him, or...? Doesn't seem right opening another man's mail. Let's try and give it to him. Okay. 
Well, it's been quite a surprising day for all of us, hasn't it? I'd see you out, but I'm afraid of dripping any more blood in the place. It was very nice talking to you, TJ. Thanks. Uh, see ya. I'll be honest, Bigby. I don't really know how to feel about what happened in there. We got what we came for. Some information. It'll be all right. So, the prince is now? Lawrence is. Yeah. It's our best lead. Our only lead, really. When you put it that way. I don't want to stay here any longer than we have to, so let's just pick an approach and stick to it, okay? Just humor me. Let's just keep our focus on questioning Lawrence. Where she was, who she was with, that sort of thing. Don't just peep into someone's house, check if he's home. Water. Kitchen. Did you find it yet? Thank you. 
Do you still have that letter? Yes. Should I open it? I'm not sure if it's right. It's your decision. Do what you think is right. I need to know. What does it say? I'm sorry. Faith. It's only two words, but he died without seeing them. I'm sorry, too. We need to figure out what happened here and find whoever did this. Do you think that was taken? Before all this. Still a little sticky. Would someone want to kill him? you and I cannot endure knowing that I have. This was for the best. I'll see you again. Love your devoted Lawrence. Hopefully they're together now. About all we can hope for at this point. Dusty. No one's read these in a while. Secondhand paperbacks. Old encyclopedias.
Да! Leave me alone! Inside here. You son of a bitch. Make me run after you. Who are you? What? Who are you? Listen, man. I'm a private investigator. A man's dead. I know how it looks, but I had nothing to do with that. Bullshit. You're covered in blood. Look, I was just asking him about the girl. That's all. When I mentioned her being dead, he freaked out. I figured someone had told him. How was I supposed to know? Shit. Fucker shot himself right in front of me. I couldn't stop him, man. You're looking for the woodsman, right? I know where he is. My guy says he's holed up at the trip trap. We can go over there right now, the both of us. My employer's looking to ask him a few questions, too. What were you doing back there? Checking out the guy who was married to the girl. Seemed a good place to start. Tracking down... leads. What kind of leads? Oh, I can't tell you that. It's confidential. Sorry. Sure you understand? Nope. Can't say that I do. Come on, you're coming with me. This could have been easy. <laughs> Don't worry. It still is. Come on. Dumb. Dumb? Yeah, it is. Look, it'd be much easier for you no, to... No, I'm D. He's dumb. You almost looked peaceful. Yep. Except you're lying in a dirty alley. Yep. With an open wound on the back of your head. Yep. Just leave me here. Come on, get up. Guess we're out of options. D mentioned the trip trap. Then that's where we'll go. I'll call a cab. Every time I think I'm getting a handle on what's going on, things just get more complicated. It feels like we're always a step behind. The woodsman is the only lead we've got, and he was one of the last people to see Faith alive. Getting some answers out of him will start to clear things up. I hope you're right. Bigby, be honest with me. Who do you think did this? I know it's still early, but I just feel a step behind. 
I still think the husband probably did it. After everything we saw? There's still a lot of questions. We find the woodsman, figure out what he knows, and go from there. Makes sense. That's probably the best approach. Thanks I wish you. there was... Sorry. Uh, never mind. Wasn't important. Oh. Uh, okay. Well, it's... It's nothing. I just... Seeing all this today, there are fables that are struggling worse than I'd imagined. We pay so much attention to the residents of the woodlands, you forget there's a whole community out there to serve. To have to turn to... prostitution. I... I wish there was more we could do. This isn't how I thought it would be. But Crane runs things his own way. You're doing your best. It's all anyone can do. Obviously, you don't know what I do all day. Right now, I'm the gatekeeper, making sure none of these disenfranchised folks are, as he puts it, wasting his time. You'll fix it. I don't know. It's just a broken system. The fables who walk in through the back door like Bluebeard, we have all the time in the world for them. You try and come in through the front door, through the proper channels, asking for anything, needing help. Well, I turn you away. Now things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but not by much. Maybe this isn't for me. I thought public service was pure. A way to help. You should stick it out. There are fables that would give up a lot to be in the position you're in, and I think it's easier to change something from the inside. You're telling me change comes from within? Uh, sure. Not the advice I imagined hearing from you. I'm full of surprises. Maybe you should handle this one. Yeah, maybe I should. Big B. I... Just be careful, please. Same goes for you. I will.
What do you want, Sheriff? I was in the neighborhood. Thought I'd pop in and say hello. Well, fucking hello. Now you can get the fuck out of here. Look, I'm not even gonna ask where he is now, okay? I just want to know the last time he was here. That's all. Who? I'm being nice, so try again. He hasn't been here for a few weeks. No, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, he hasn't been here in a while, if he's been here at all, which... I don't know. Just like some help, and I'll be out of here. Well, I'd be willing to help you out of here. Would that help? Come on. Have you seen the woodsman around? I don't know who that is. Big guy, beard, flannel, kind of a shitbag. Hard to miss. Uh, you sure you don't know him? But I buy you a drink. How about you keep your drink and piss off? Let me solve the mystery for you. They're pickled eggs. Oh, I know what they are. I'm just trying to figure out why anyone would eat this. stools in this place. If I sit over there, I'm gonna have to yell to talk to you. And I don't like raising my voice. Unless I really have to. You gonna order something? Or are you just here to bother my customers? You know what I mean. Give me a Midas gold. You want a lime? Sure. I think they have some at the bar down the street. <laughs> think that's funny? Yep. Think it's fucking hilarious. It was all right. This is fun. This back and forth. We should really do it more often, but, uh, I'm starting to lose my patience. Paper towels and uh... number one or number two? For your sake, uh, I hope it was two. Otherwise, you're probably shitting your pants right now. You and me have been going at it for hundreds of years. I'm through fighting. I'm not sure I believe you. You're in luck. I decided to switch seats. This fellow put his hand on me, ended up with an axe in his head. Last fella I put my hand on, ended up in the ground. It's okay, Grant. It's 
funny. Just a minute ago, no one seemed to know who you were. Yeah, well, everyone knows you. Big bad wolf. <laughs> no, I'm the bad guy and you're a sheriff. What kind of fucking world is that, huh? Not exactly comfortable with it either, but... Hey, you play the hand you're dealt. Well, some folks are forced to play with shit. That's a lovely image. Guess you want to know about the girl. Amongst other things, sure. I'd walk past her place for weeks. She didn't look like it. She had money. I was sure of it. She wouldn't put up any kind of fight. <laughs> I was gonna rob her. And the night I finally get up the nerve to do it, there you are. Fucking things up for me. You were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. What are you talking about exactly? Red Riding Hood. Her grandmother. I was there to rob him. But when I showed up, you were already there. Lying in the bed. I only saved her because I thought she might give me a reward. But she didn't give me shit. Except a bunch of people thinking I'm something I ain't. I played along as long as I could. I'm dragging you back to the woodland. For what? Jesus, Bigby, that fucking hurt! I'm wasting my fucking time. Hey! Stop! This isn't what I want! Oh, shut the fuck up, Woody! Shit ain't just about you. It's about this fucking lap dog. Only come sniffing around this part of town when the rich fucks in the woodlands need a shakedown. Ain't that right, Big B? It's not like that. There are problems with the way things go, I get it. But that's got nothing to do with what's happening right now. Holly's sister goes missing. No one gives two shits about her. Paperwork, waiting rooms, and that bitch Snow White looking right past me, then ushering me out the fucking door. That all you got? Seem to be enough. Don't be so sure. Oh, good. Should have walked out of here when you had the chance. Come on, you're scaring the lady. Don't worry about me. Oh. 
He's had enough. Submit a damage report with my office. Fabletown will pay for this. Charge the drink on there, too. And the glass. Don't even think about it. Is this the type of treatment I can expect if I let you take me in? No. If you come quietly, you'll be treated with respect. But if it turns out... You killed that girl. Well, you know what that means. All right, I got a hundred bucks for the first bloke that can tell me something about a girl name. Not necessary. Shit. He's the one you want, not me. Your brother won't be saving you this time. Come on. You're under arrest. I told you I didn't do it. And you got nothing to worry about. Anything stupid, and I'll throw you down the witching well myself.
We had something very special. Where's your brother? Fuck you! Give me one good reason I should tell you anything. Serial killer. Oh, oh my. A serial killer? Oh god, and it's one of us. Wait, the watchman's still walking the streets. We've got to put a lid on this. If you can't manage it, I'll find someone who can. I found out where she's been staying. I know she's here. You must have seen her. What are the two of you hiding? Thanks. Not saying anything. Doesn't matter. Maybe you just want to be by yourself. Can you that? What did you do? Friend on friend. Is that you?